Once upon a time, there were two sisters, Manjita and Lorena, who lived in a small cottage. Manjita was a hard worker. She used to work in her father's grocery store in her spare time. Lorena, on the other hand, loved to travel and have fun. When she was bored, she looked at herself by the river and combed her hair for a long time. Today, I am more beautiful than my sister again. One day, Mangina and Lorena's father went on a long journey from which there was no return. Although Mangita was very sad about her father's departure, Lorena was so happy. Hee hee hee! Now every day I can sit by the river until morning. After her father left, Mangita started working harder. She was sweeping the floor in the mornings, making a delicious soup in the afternoon, and hanging the laundry. Lorena's only pastime was to cause trouble for her sister. She was dirtying the carpets in the house, pouring ice cold water into the cooked soup. Why is the soup still cold? And why are these carpets dirty? I just cleaned them. The animals you feed have made them dirty, huh? One day, Lorena went out for a walk in the forest. She was just plucking the unripe fruit and threw them into the river. Meanwhile, an old woman, who was walking slowly, approached her. Hello, beautiful girl. I'm very hungry. Can you give me some fruit too? Lorena handed the old woman the tasteless wild strawberries she had just picked. Ma'am, you can eat as much as you want. These are the most delicious strawberries in the world. The old woman had a stomach ache as soon as she ate the strawberries. Are these strawberries delicious? Ooh, thank you anyway. As Lorena was returning home, the old woman fell asleep. While Manjita was out picking vegetables in the forest for the meal, she saw the old woman who fell ill. She immediately brought her home and put her on the bed. What is this woman doing in our house? She smells so bad. Don't say that, Lorena. The woman is very sick. We must feed her with healthy food to heal her. Manjita prepared hot soups and herbal teas for the old woman. On the other hand, Lorena secretly threw away the soups and put soil in the herbal teas. Lorena, did you put soil in this herbal tea? Tell me now. No, it wasn't me. That old woman put it herself. Within a few days, the old woman recovered. You are a kind-hearted girl, Manjita. If you ever get sick, eat these blueberries every day. You'll recover immediately. Manjita, who was very tired of doing housework alone for a long time, <coughs> eventually fell very ill and was lying in bed. Lorena, can you bring the blueberries the old lady gave me? But Lorena ate all the blueberries herself. There is nothing here. The birds you feed must have eaten them. <laughs> Manjita became even more sluggish and fell asleep in a sweat. Lorena, on the other hand, left the house and went to the river to comb her hair. At that time, the old woman appeared before her again. Hey, little girl, where is your sister? She packed fruit in sacks and went to work. Ugh, what's it to you? The old woman realized that Lorena was lying. She immediately went to their house to see Manjita. When the old woman saw this young girl who was helping her, sweating and sick, she was very upset and wept for a long time. Lorena, who was watching them from the window, laughed out loud. <laughs> Just then, the old woman turned into a beautiful fairy. Lorena was very surprised to see the fairy. She happily entered the house. You! You are a fairy! I opened my home to you. You owe me. Give me the most beautiful hair in the world. 
Quick, use magic now and make my wish come true. In fact, when the fairy saw Lorena for the first time, she turned into an old woman to see if she was a good person. I gave the opportunity to do one favor, but you always did bad. At that moment, the fairy waved her magic wand from side to side. Lorena's hair has turned into ivy. Ah, oh, my hair! What happened to my hair? They're so ugly now, help! Lorena ran to the riverside in fear and looked at her hair. As flies were flying around her head, her ivy hair was stuck in the ground all of a sudden. I've become so ugly. I don't want to look at myself anymore. At that time, the fairy fed Manjita a blueberry, and Manjita finally recovered and opened her eyes. Thank you, fairy. I feel so much better now. The fairy waved her wand twice and turned the little cottage they lived in into a stunning palace. Manjita was very surprised and impressed when she saw the palace. Goodness is always rewarded, young girl, and this palace is your reward. Thank you, fairy. What about my sister? What happened to her? Your sister will forever stare at her ugly reflection by the riverside. But I love my sister so much. What's the point of living alone in this huge palace without her? Give us a happy life in our cottage again, fairy. That's all I wish from you. The fairy was very happy when she heard Manjita's words. First, she transformed the magnificent palace back into a cottage again. Later, she went to Lorena and restored her ivy hair to its former beautiful state with her magic wand. Lorena hugged Manjita happily. You saved me. I'm very sorry. I will be a good person now. I promise. Lorena understood at that moment that the happiness of helping people is worth everything. Because happiness becomes more beautiful when shared. If Cinderella would have forgotten about midnight and kept on dancing with the prince. If the little mermaid wouldn't have rescued the prince from the sinking ship. And if Hansel and Gretel would have not entered the cake house. Or if the little red riding hood wouldn't have told the wolf where she was going. None of these fairy tales would have existed. They took us to exciting adventures on magical lands we have never seen. They raced against evil sometimes, and sometimes it was against time. They showed us the true meaning of passion, love, friendship, helpfulness, sharing, and being a family. We cried together. We laughed together. But in the end, we always learn something.